In a geopolitical move that sent shockwaves through the Middle East, Russia recently deployed soldiers on the Lebanese border in support of Palestine, catching Israel off guard and raising questions about the balance of power in the region. This unexpected development has reignited long-standing tensions and added a new layer of complexity to an already volatile region. The deployment of Russian soldiers on the Lebanese border represents a significant departure from Moscow's previous stance in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Historically, Russia has maintained a somewhat balanced approach, engaging diplomatically with both sides while avoiding direct military involvement. However, recent events in the Middle East have prompted the Kremlin to reconsider its strategy and take a more assertive stance. The roots of this surprising move can be traced back to the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which has been marked by decades of violence and stalemate. In recent years, tensions have flared up again, leading to a series of clashes and skirmishes in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. These incidents have drawn international attention and condemnation, with many nations, including Russia, calling for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. One of the key factors that prompted Russia's intervention was the widespread perception that Israel's actions in the occupied territories were becoming increasingly aggressive. The construction of settlements in the West Bank, the expansion of Israeli territory, and the disproportionate use of force against Palestinian protesters had raised concerns among many nations. Russia, in particular, had grown increasingly frustrated with what it saw as Israel's disregard for international law and its unwillingness to engage in meaningful peace negotiations. As a result, when the opportunity arose to support Palestine and challenge Israel's dominance in the region, Russia seized it. The decision to deploy soldiers on the Lebanese border was not made lightly and had profound implications for the balance of power in the Middle East. The deployment itself took place swiftly and covertly, catching both Israel and the international community by surprise. Russian soldiers, equipped with advanced weaponry and backed by air support, established a presence along the border, effectively creating a buffer zone between Israel and Lebanon. This move was seen as a strategic escalation and a clear message to Israel that Russia was willing to take a more active role in the conflict. Israel's response to the Russian deployment was a mixture of shock and outrage. The Israeli government condemned the move as a violation of its sovereignty and demanded an immediate withdrawal of Russian troops. Israeli officials also expressed concerns about the potential for a military confrontation with Russia, a nuclear-armed superpower. The international community was equally divided in its response to the Russian deployment. Some nations supported Russia's move, seeing it as a necessary step to address the long-standing injustices faced by the Palestinian people. Others, however, expressed concerns about the escalation of the conflict and the risk of a broader regional war. The United Nations Security Council held an emergency meeting to address the situation, but no consensus was reached on how to proceed. The United States, a longtime ally of Israel, called for restraint on all sides, but did not explicitly condemn Russia's actions. China and several European nations expressed support for a peaceful resolution but stopped short of endorsing Russia's intervention. In the midst of this diplomatic turmoil, the Palestinian leadership welcomed Russia's involvement and saw it as an opportunity to leverage Moscow's influence on the global stage. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas hailed Russia's move as a game changer and called for renewed peace negotiations with Israel under Russian mediation. The situation on the ground in the occupied territories remained tense with sporadic clashes between Israeli forces and Palestinian militants. The Russian military presence in Lebanon added a new dimension to the conflict, as both sides carefully watched for any signs of escalation. Russia's motivations for its intervention in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict are complex and multifaceted, while the Kremlin has publicly cited its commitment to international law and a desire for a just and lasting peace, there are undoubtedly other strategic considerations at play. One of Russia's primary motivations is to strengthen its influence in the Middle East. Over the past decade, Russia has expanded its presence in the region, most notably in Syria, where it has provided military support to the Assad regime. By involving itself in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, Moscow aims to position itself as a key player in shaping the region's future. Furthermore, Russia's support for Palestine aligns with its broader foreign policy objectives of countering Western dominance and asserting itself as a global power. By challenging Israel, 
a close ally of the United States, Russia sends a clear message that it is willing to challenge American influence in the Middle East. Another critical factor in Russia's decision to deploy soldiers on the Lebanese border is its desire to maintain stability in the region. The ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict has the potential to spill over into neighboring countries and disrupt the fragile balance of power in the Middle East. By establishing a military presence in Lebanon, Russia aims to prevent further escalation and create a more conducive environment for peace negotiations. While Russia's intervention has added a new layer of complexity to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, it also presents an opportunity for a diplomatic breakthrough. Moscow has expressed its willingness to mediate peace talks between Israel and Palestine, and several international actors have welcomed this proposal. The United Nations in particular has been actively engaged in efforts to restart peace negotiations. Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for an international conference on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, with Russia playing a central role in facilitating dialogue between the two parties. However, the path to peace remains fraught with challenges. Israel, while acknowledging the need for negotiations, has expressed skepticism about Russia's role as a mediator, given its close relationship with Iran and other regional actors that are hostile to Israel. Additionally, the Palestinian leadership faces internal divisions, with Hamas controlling Gaza and Fatah governing the West Bank, making it challenging to present a unified front in negotiations. The broader regional dynamics also complicate the prospects for peace. Iran, a longtime supporter of Palestinian resistance groups, views Russia's intervention as an opportunity to increase its influence in the region. Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states, on the other hand, are concerned about the growing presence of both Iran and Russia and the potential for a regional power shift. In the midst of these challenges, the international community must remain committed to finding a peaceful and just solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The deployment of Russian soldiers on the Lebanese border serves as a stark reminder of the urgency of the situation and the need for renewed diplomatic efforts. One possible way forward is the resumption of direct negotiations between Israel and Palestine, with the support of international mediators, including Russia. Both parties would need to make significant concessions and address the core issues of borders, refugees, security, and the status of Jerusalem. The international community, including the United States and European Union, could play a crucial role in facilitating these negotiations and ensuring that any agreement is fair and sustainable. Another important step is addressing the humanitarian crisis in Gaza and the West Bank. The dire living conditions in these territories, exacerbated by years of conflict and economic hardship, have fueled resentment and radicalization. Providing humanitarian aid and economic development assistance to the Palestinian people is essential for building trust and stability in the region. In addition to diplomatic and humanitarian efforts, it is crucial to address the broader regional security concerns. The Middle East is a complex web of geopolitical rivalries and conflicts, and any progress toward peace in Israel and Palestine must take into account the interests and concerns of neighboring countries. The situation on the ground in the Middle East remains fluid and unpredictable, with the deployment of Russian soldiers on the Lebanese border introducing a new element of uncertainty. However, it is also an opportunity to reinvigorate diplomatic efforts and recommit to a peaceful resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. In conclusion, Russia's deployment of soldiers on the Lebanese border in support of Palestine has stunned Israel and raised questions about the future of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the balance of power in the Middle East. While the situation is complex and fraught with challenges, it also presents an opportunity for renewed diplomatic efforts and a commitment to a just and lasting peace. The international community must seize this moment to work together toward a resolution that addresses the legitimate aspirations and security concerns of both Israelis and Palestinians while ensuring stability in the region. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.